Why Should We Care About Food Waste in America? This is John Williamson, and I'm the Executive Director of Food Rescue, and I've prepared this lesson specifically to answer this question, along with the depth of the problem of food waste, as well as things students can do to help solve the problem. So let's begin. One in six Americans are hungry, or what the government statistically describes as food insecure. That includes 15.9 million children. It's estimated that 40% of our food is wasted at different points in our food supply chain, often ending up in our landfills. This rotting food produces a result that many scientists believe can have a harmful effect on our environment. So how can wasted food potentially harm our environment? Rotting food in our landfills produces an invisible gas called methane. So what do we know about methane? Methane gas is over 20 times more impactful to our environment than another invisible gas that is often talked about called carbon dioxide. It's estimated that 16% of all methane gas emitted comes from rotting, wasted food in our landfills. So now that we know a little bit about methane gas, how does it impact our environment? Invisible gases like methane and carbon dioxide are located in the Earth's atmosphere and they're represented by this circle. They actually help regulate the Earth's temperature in the atmosphere, which helps maintain normal temperatures on the Earth, which is a good thing. So how do they do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Sun rays break through the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off the Earth's surface, where they travel back through the atmosphere out into space but these invisible gases help trap some of those rays to help keep the temperatures of our Earth normal. Many scientists believe if we place too many of these gases into our environment, the invisible cloud of gases becomes thicker, as shown in this circle, and the increased thickness will cause too much heat from the sun rays to be trapped and cause the temperature we experience on Earth to rise to abnormal levels.